Hi everyone, this is Venkatesh from Naresha Technologies. In this video, let me start with session tracking process in servlets indirectly. We can call it a session tracking in servlets. Up to now what has been happened means in the last few videos, I have been concentrating on writing one servlet program and how to run that servlet program by making one URL declared within the web.xml and even I explained this execution flow of one program and life cycle. So whenever we have a database connections, how can we have DAO layer? Whenever the multiple servlet programs are there, how can you establish one communication between servlet programs using forward and include methods? Even whenever I am sending one forward include method, how can I add one attribute to this request object and servlet context object? In that process, I given clarity on servlet context and servlet config. So, these are the informations available till whatever the video is completed in servlets programming. So, from this video, I want to start this session tracking in servlets. So, what is session now? Particular interval of time from login to logout of a user or of an user. is known as session. So, whenever the multiple servlet programs are available, when the multiple servlet programs are available, so that multiple servlet programs are communicated by using forward method and include method. So, we established communication already. So, in that process already we know application means set of programs collected together to perform one defined action. Set of, set of programs collected together to perform one defined action, we are calling it as application. The application which is running in the internet world or web environment in the process of interacting with end users coming through web browser, we are calling it as web application. So, this web application contains n number of servlet programs. Up to now, we established communication between servlet programs, definitely. Somewhere we have to organize the user. So, we have to organize that uh, servlet programs in one order. So, what we do now? The process of tracking the user from log in to log out. When the user has been logged in, so we are creating one information about the user. We are going to use that user information in the further actions what is going to make. Suppose if I take one login process at the ending logout process, in between whenever you want to view his details, if not whenever you want to update the details, if there are four programs available now. So, login process, if the login process has been failed, you must go for registration process. Once the login has been successful, he want to display his own details. Whenever he want to update it, he is updating his details. At last, he is going to log out it. So, I must synchronize them. Means, I must order them one after the other. I must track the user also. Whenever user is trying to view the uh, details, he cannot view the details without login. Whenever he want to edit the profile, he cannot edit the profile without login. So, what we are doing now? Whenever the user has been logged successfully, we are going to record one information about the user. Whenever he performs one action like I want to see the details of his own, that means view details. Whenever the employee or user tries to view the details, you have to check it before giving the details of an user or before running the details of an user, we must check whether the user has been logged in or not. In the same way, in the same way now, whenever he is trying to update his profile, he clicked on one button known as update. Whenever you want to update the details, he cannot update the details immediately. So, he, before performing that update operation, so we have to check again the user has been logged in or not. So, that process of finding the state of a user, whether he has been logged in or not, we are calling it as session tracking process. Normally, session means a particular interval of time from login to logout of an user is known as session. So, maintaining the state of user from login to logout, we are calling the session tracking process. The session tracking process are available in four ways. The following are the te techniques used in your servlet session tracking process. One is cookies process, hidden form fields, URL rewriting, HTTP session. These four techniques are available. In the coming videos, I am going to provide one one example program and I will have a discussion on this for now. One one example program on each cookies, hidden form fields, URL rewriting, HTTP session. Cookies, 
we had a class known as cookie whenever you want to whenever the login process is successful we create one object for cookie we bind one value if not we pass value and name and value as parameter so that is acting as a tracking process that has been added to the response it comes to the web browser from there from every request onwards the cookie is added and sent whenever you perform some actions other than login process we are going to cross check whether the value is available or not i am going to demonstrate a bit clearly through example program hidden form field normal english meaning and hidden form field in html tags and we are looking for form tag especially in form tag we had two elements one is action one is method we know that so with the among that form we had n number of fields input type hidden whenever you take input type text we are going to put one input input type submit already you know input type we are calling it as hidden automatically the form field cannot be displayed on to the web browser it has been hided from the web browser whatever the value you have been placed in that hidden form field is used for tracking process we are calling it as hidden form field one field of form tag which is cannot be seen by the which which cannot be viewed from the web browser we are calling it as hidden form field now url rewriting means modifying the url already you know urls are used to uh, run or trigger your server related programs urls are used or triggered or are, are used to trigger your server related programs whenever i am trying to pass the control from one server related to another server related i am using one url with that url i am going to add one value and send it that's called url rewrite the value we are going to use in your session track HTTP session very powerful session very important also HTTP session by default your web containers will be creating your session IDs so for this HTTP session we add one attribute already you know last videos I given some clarity to you attribute means one constant variable or we are calling it as one public variable can be used directly that weight attribute we are going to add for this HTTP session whatever the value whatever the name with value added for the http session used in the tracking process so what is the information by this video is nothing but i am giving introduction by the definition to your session track so session tracking is nothing but session means particular interval of time from login to log out of an user is known as a session is known as a session so in that process we are going to track the user from login to log out whether he has been logged in or not maintaining the state of user we are calling the session tracking process the session tracking process can be done in four ways cookies hidden form fields url rewriting and http session everything from the coming videos i'll demonstrate each one with one one example program fill this uh, video as an introduction to your session tracking thank you watch me on more videos in narisha technologies